Hello, this is Heisenberg. And this is G Forever. And we're here to review the new SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla second and third forms. All right, so this is the form two, uh, also known as Kamada-kun. And here's form three uh, from Shinagawa. Um, these are Bandai web exclusives uh, and are only sold in Japan as of now. Um, we had to use a third party to get this off of the Bandai uh, Japanese website and it was about $80 um, uh, retail price and in order to get it through a third party I believe the lowest price we've seen it uh, sold on eBay right now is 140 Form 2 you'll notice that they did a great job with the, uh, the details here um, they kind of made the eyes uh, less glossy just like the movie um, so it imitates like the fish fish eye look. You'll see that um, they did some nice detailing in the mouth between the gills and they even did um, some highlighting it within the fins. Um, the paint is um, different shades so it gives it a nice uh, natural look. Oh yeah, and the articulation is uh, very nice too. Yes, um, they did a pretty good job. They had uh, enough segments in the tail so you can kind of bend it. Let me see. You can bend it back. Uh, they've got some body movement. Um, I think there's three segments in the body. Got the head, the neck, um, this part, and then the torso. Also got a few segments in the feet and the legs. And not much on the arms because they didn't they weren't really developed yet in the in the film, um, but the jaw is pretty nice. Uh, where you can move the head and the jaw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get the mouth open. Yep. Yeah, I think it's nice. Just kind of move that around. And get the right pose you want. Um, so Kamada Kun is looking pretty nice for uh, a monster arts uh, figure. So form two, moving on to form three. Um, Possibly nicknamed as Shinagawa Kun. Uh, haven't really seen that used too much, but he. Uh, this is when he reappeared um, or evolved and reappeared in Shinagawa. And again, um, they did the. Uh, uh, they did less red uh, compared to the Gashapon figure and the Bandai figure. Um, it seems like this is when uh, maybe he. He just finished evolving and his colors weren't fully red, I'm not sure. Um, but a lot more segments in the tail, so you can bend it uh, bend it more. Um, also you have the, I think four segments this time in the body. You have the two, two joints in the neck um, and then two joints on the uh, torso. You can move the arms a little bit. So in the film he started to develop his arms. So that gives you that option. For the legs and feet, we've got uh, one, two, three segments here. And again, it's really nice that they give you the, the full jaw movement in the head. So you can have him um, with his mouth closed, partially opened or wide open, which reveals, I think, in the uh, the signature pose in the in the movie was uh, when he was straight up roaring the 54 roar. So yeah, of these two, I really like the uh, form too. I think he's very cute. And I like the fact that he's pretty small, especially it's kind of cute to have such a small SH Monster Arts figure. And I like the color. Form 3, I've never been as excited about Form 3. Like in the movie, like just in the movie we see him so briefly and just the way he looks, I've never been quite as uh, interested in him. Uh, and then, but my main disappointment with this SH Monster Arts version is that he's, a, I think he's a weird color. He seems to be, I, in the movie, my recollection is that he looks red. And again, with the band eye. Yeah, with the band eye, they made the band eye red. Uh, but here, he's just kind of like this earth tone. He's like this kind of dull earth tone. Kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a clay. Kind of like this like dark, I don't know, what, what would you say here? Yeah, like it's kind of, of like a grayish brown. Yeah, it's like a grayish brown With here. some orange highlights. And, 
But yeah, yeah. So I don't, uh, yeah. So I mean, just looking at them, I don't have any particular desire to have them on my shelf and be able to look at them. So I would have, uh, like, if they sold these separately, I, well, I don't know, for complete completeness, I probably would have gotten all three. But yeah, it's mostly if, like, looking at these on my shelf, I'll mostly be, like, focusing on two and four, I'd say. So here's Kamada-kun, form two. You'll see it's much smaller than the uh, fourth form, which is the uh, full-size um, Godzilla in the film. Form three from Shinagawa. Um, Here's the size comparison with the four form. You'll see it is bigger than form two, but still much smaller than uh, form four. Yeah. There. Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, here's the standard size um, monster arts figure. You'll see that they are also smaller than the standard size. Um, this guy's the Eva Gellian uh, exclusive crossover, but it still maintains the same size. Here we're comparing the size uh, with the Bandai's. Again, they're uh, much smaller. However, um, Monster Arts uh, focuses on the detail and the articulation. Yeah, it's interesting with the uh, Bandai's, they didn't bother trying to make the Form 2 a lot smaller than Form 3. They're about the same size. It's a little, it's a little smaller, but not a big difference. Mm -hmm. Like here, they did make a, uh, yeah, form two with SH Monster Arts. Form two is an, is uh, much smaller than uh, form three. I think they're trying to go with, um, I guess, an accurate scale. It yeah, seems oh yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how accurate it is, but it looks like mm -hmm. they're certainly trying to make a dramatic difference between them. Mm -hmm. Here are the Gashapon figures. So they are bigger than the Gashapon sets. And once again, this is the, as we reviewed already, there was one Gashapon set of just Form 2, and those were particularly small. Mm -hmm. So now we've got a lot of, uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of, so we've got uh, Form 2 and a lot of, in four, at least, you know, four different sizes here, and uh, Form 3 in three different sizes. Yep. Can make the same pose. The original price of $80, um, it's a little on the high end for the size and size of the figures, but for the detail, it's, uh, you know, they did a really good job with the detail. Uh, I agree with uh, Heisenberg that the color on Form, form 3 is a little strange uh, that they chose. Um, but, yeah, they did a good job, oops, with the detail. And it looks like Monster Art still suffers from the, the loose uh, joints. Alrighty, so we got yeah we got quite a collection growing here. Yeah. So remember, check out uh, Chief Forever online. He's got both his website and his uh, Facebook page. Yep. And so I'll put links to that in the description. And then I've got well, remember I've, I've also got a Facebook page that's Godzilla versus uh, Heisenberg. So I mentioned that in my on my YouTube channel. Alrighty, so this is Heisenberg and Chief Forever, and hope you enjoy your uh, Shin Godzilla figures. Oh yeah.